We are all time element. That's how we function. All it is in the air, telepathic bits of information interacting, and nobody's in control. Well, yeah. what kind of God is this? This is amazing. <laughs> the emotion of, that comes from that thought kind of can stick to that thought, but the thought doesn't go away faster than the emotion. When James Brown said everything is on the one, yep. it put it in perspective for me. There's days when I wake up and I feel like I woke up on the one and everything that like happens is I feel like I'm in the rhythm of life in, in a way that where it's actually almost like just being in line with my intentions. I think consciousness is a huge responsibility, mm. an overwhelming mm. one as well. And I, I ask myself, especially when I was little, like five, six, seven years old, I used to say, why do I think? Why do I, why do I, you know, why do I see things? Where do I get all this? I used to ask myself all these questions. To identify with the creator and then see the creator is kind of a dunce then? Because the, the premonition would come from a place the creator doesn't know where it comes from, is what you're saying. That's creation, it's God. God is a creation, therefore it's inclusive of the premonition. Yeah, but God doesn't know where creation came from. We only view things through a filter. If it's impossible to look at things objectively, then what's the difference between a true reality and a fiction? And what I think people are intuitively getting, the infinite, equal, and opposite energy creating, facilitating creation, that it's uh, equal and opposite. It's, that's, that's what I hear when I hear you say infinity squared, is that, you know, for infinity, equal and opposite forces are interacting with each other. Why do we need this duality? Because it exists. He's saying tangible and intangible. Intangible, <laughs> tangible. You don't have, then you have. Which is a reality. And they're both infinity. Right. And it's everything can happen right now, but it, at the same time, it could, it, it could all change. And it's being in tune with that constant fluctuation of the change and adapting to it and understanding the responsibility of the time that you make your own time. And you are the time, you know, you are, you are a time, and you're, it's all about how you use it and what you're doing with it because I am future me, I'm past me, I'm future me, I'm all of them at the same time. And embracing that and being grateful to future me, being grateful to past me, knowing that me right now is still a permutation of all of those. I'm trying to say that in the past, well, I'm the future past. So right now is gonna be the past in the future. Yeah. What we're doing right now in the future the will future. be past. It's, and it's also, we're, our, we're in the future from our past. Is that what it means? <laughs> The first card said, I am future past. Yeah. The second card said, action in creation. Yes. So a person is perceiving his past. And a person may go from perceiving his past in the most negative light and eventually begin to perceive his past in a more positive light and say, I needed to go through that to make me the person I am now. I just think it's a repetition of the things that we're just learning. It's just a learning curve. That's what that means to me, maybe. If God is change, People go to churches and temples. Would we be going to a changing room? <laughs> it's show business. That's what show business is. It's realistic illusion. <laughs> Please. Uh, Excuse the interruption, but we have two types of ice cream this evening. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate chip or we have coffee so uh it right. all came down to this question is which <laughs> ice cream would you like all right i'm just excited to read this one i would like to compare myself to a zebra when i am a hummingbird nice <laughs>